Hello, friends. Today, we'll learn about tuberculosis. <laughs> tuberculosis, or TB, is a contagious infection that normally affects the lungs. It can also spread to other parts of the body, like spine, kidneys, and brain. Tuberculosis mostly affects adults in their most productive years. However, all age groups are at risk. A type of bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis causes it. You can get TB only if you come into contact with people who have it. When someone who has TB coughs, sneezes, or talks, they release tiny droplets that contain the germs. If you breathe in these germs, you can get it. Tuberculosis spreads in a similar way to a cold or flu, but it is not as infectious. You would have to spend several hours in close contact with an infected person to catch the infection yourself. There are two types of tuberculosis. Latent TB. In latent tuberculosis, the individual carries the bacteria but does not display any symptoms. This is because immunity fights the infection and is able to suppress it to an extent. Persons suffering from latent tuberculosis cannot transmit the illness to others. However, at some point in their life, the bacteria can get reactivated and the infection can become active tuberculosis. Latent TB does not have symptoms. A skin or blood test can tell if you have it. Active TB. In active tuberculosis, the individual who is carrying the organism has active symptoms and can transmit the infection to other people. Let's have a look at some common signs of active TB. A cough that lasts more than three weeks and coughing up blood. Chest pain and feeling tired all the time fever and chills, loss of appetite and weight loss. There are two types of tests used to detect tuberculosis bacteria in the body. Skin test. In this, a technician injects a small amount of fluid into the skin of your lower arm. After two or three days, they'll check for swelling in your arm. If your results are positive, you have TB bacteria. Blood test. These tests, also called interferon gamma release assays, measure the response when TB proteins are mixed with a small amount of your blood. Those tests don't tell you if your infection is latent or active. The doctor may order a chest x-ray or CT scan to determine if you have active TB disease or latent TB as well as a sputum test to identify the bacteria in your body and choose the most efficient medication. The good news is that if medicines are taken as prescribed and they're able to get rid of the bacteria, then tuberculosis can be cured. You can support your recovery by maintaining a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Include cereals, pulses, vegetables, fruits, protein-rich foods, and energy-rich foods in your diet. Now, you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.